A viewer sent us a video of that one, a long fin, long fin mako shark it's called. And then another was a great hammerhead, both thrashing in the shallows, people trying to help. WEAR shot a ray looking at how it happened and what the experts are saying on what you should do if you run across one of these situations tonight. A marine biologist says sharks washing up on shore can be a rare occurrence. She says there could be many factors that can make this happen, from getting an injury to stress. Take a look at this video of four men pulling a long fin mako shark back into the water on Pensacola Beach. Animals can beach themselves for a number of reasons, forced ashore by abnormal currents, getting lost, or hunting for food. That's according to stranding coordinator Kennedy Brindley. You have to think maybe that animal was sick or injured. Um, it could have um, died due to stress. Maybe somebody caught it offshore. Um, and then due to being being stressed out, it could have stranded that way. Saturday, a great hammerhead shark was also found on Pensacola Beach. Burnley says if people find a beach shark, don't pull it backwards by its fins. Sharks always have to be moving forward, and that's why when you see them swimming, they're always moving forward. Um, so whenever they are pulled backwards, that is allowing the opportunity for drowning to occur. Burnley says there is a need for specific marine life rescue crews that can be equipped to save sharks that are in distress. She tells me the beach goers did give the mako a chance at survival. Burnley says she can't confirm that's the same mako shark that was found dead in the water the next day. Burnley urges people who see any stressed mammals to call organizations like Emerald Coast Wildlife or Florida Fish and Wildlife for help. In Escambia County, Shade Ray, WEAR News.